Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to put the 4070 to the test in one of the most underwhelming games of the year, Starfield. As you can see, I'm pairing the RTX 4070 with a Ryzen 7 3800X and 32 gigabytes of RAM. And as always, you can find Amazon links for both the processor and the 4070 in the description, just in case you want to check them out or buy them. But anyways, that being said, let's begin as always testing 1080p resolution, which is the bare minimum resolution you're going to be playing at with a 4070 and low settings, the low settings preset without very important upscaling. I don't have DLSS or FSR enabled. And well, as you can see, we're getting around 64, 63 FPS on average. A very, very underwhelming performance for 1080p low. I actually just tried uh, the new Assassin's Creed uh, Mirage recently and it gave me 160 FPS on 1080p low with the 4070. So. Yeah, for those who say that this game is fine and that it only underperforms in certain graphics cards because it's a new game and it demands a little bit more power, it just came out like the new Assassin's Creed and it's given me a third of the FPS at the same resolution with the same settings. And it doesn't look better. This game, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it definitely is not impressive graphically i've definitely seen this before in other games anyways uh let's uh let's do high settings high settings without motion blur and without fsr2 meaning uh default resolution the full 1080p and well something very interesting happens here because we're getting less fps as you saw earlier we were getting 65 now we're getting 59 on average but we're still not using 100% of the GPU, so there's still a bottleneck. How is it possible that we're getting less FPS if we're still not using 100% of the graphics card? That actually makes no sense whatsoever. We should be getting either 100% usage and uh, less FPS, or more FPS and still not 100% usage. Anyways, uh, Starfield, guys. A video game that is not unoptimized. It's just that you don't have enough of a good PC. That's the reason why you can't play Starfield in a good enough quality with good enough FPS. It's actually embarrassing, guys, because not even Cyberpunk, which has been also a kind of a mess in terms of optimization, not even Cyberpunk gives you 58 FPS on average at 1080p with this graphics card. I was actually trying Cyberpunk not so long ago with the new 2.0 update, and I was getting 100 FPS at 1080p in all settings. But anyways, let's uh, switch it up to ultra settings, still with no FSR, meaning full 1080p resolution. And uh, we're getting more FPS than we were getting at high settings. Dude, this game is a mess. It makes no sense. We're getting more FPS at ultra settings than we were getting at high settings. Before we were at like 57, 56 on average. This is insane. This makes no sense. What do you think about that guy? Do you think this makes any sense? What about you? Do you think this makes any sense? Do you think this makes any sense? Or do you think this makes any sense? I don't think this makes any sense. No, don't kill me. Do not kill me, please. Do not kill me, my man. Anyways, let's move on to 1440p resolution, which is the ideal resolution for the 4070. Let's also go back to low settings. As you can see, I've turned everything to low, the low preset without FSR. And we're now getting a very respectable 64 FPS on average, which fun fact is exactly the same FPS count we were getting at 1080p in all the cons configurations. So. It, uh, clearly that proves there is a bottleneck because if there's no bottleneck you should be getting less FPS at 1440 than you were getting at 1080, right? But no, there is a bottleneck so there's the same resolution and probably a 4K low is also going to give us like 60, 50 FPS. I would not recommend for anybody to buy this game unless you've already bought it or unless you have a 4090, 4080 graphics card and you can handle it even with all the optimization issues. But yeah, if you have a 4070 or even 4060, 3060, what I would recommend is that you wait a couple months before there's like a big inevitable patch when, where they're going to address all of these issues, optimize the game so you can run it with normal hardware. As I said earlier, it doesn't even look that good. I mean, it looks, it could be a 2019 game. It could even be a 2018 game. It doesn't have ray tracing. It doesn't have 
Lumen. It doesn't have any fancy technologies like Cyberpunk does. Anyways, uh, let's try high settings without FSR, without motion blur. And well, as you can see, finally, we're getting 100% GPU utilization, meaning we're now not bottlenecked. We're getting less FPS and it makes sense because now we're 100% GPU utilization, but it's it's kind of embarrassing. I mean, this is 1440p, it's not even 4K, and we're not getting 60 FPS on average. This is actually very, very, very embarrassing. I think what happened is that they optimized the game to play very well on Xbox, and they kind of forgot about PC, and they thought the game was going to play better without that much optimization. Turns out you have to optimize games to, uh, for PC too, so it, you can play them with normal PCs. Like I actually saw the other day on a Steam survey that most people have 1060s, 2060s, 3060s. Those people are not going to be able to play these games. Like literally, you cannot play this game unless you have a, well, 4070, I would say it's the bare minimum to, be, to play at 60 FPS. Okay, let's turn on the ultra preset uh, without motion blur. Again, it keeps turning on automatically. And well, uh, we're getting uh, pretty much the same FPS, maybe a little lower. Now we're getting 53 on average and it's already become unplayable. This is already way too laggy, way too choppy and way too blurry when you move the camera to to consider it an optimal mouse and keyboard experience. If you're playing with, with a controller, maybe this is fine. But if you're like me and you want to play with mouse and keyboard, you would already have to like turn on uh, DLSS or FSR, which is what we're going to do now, or play at 1080p, even if you have a 1440p monitor, which is stupid because you, you bought a 4070 not to have to do that. You bought a very good graphics card so you could play every single game at 1440p minimum with very good at frame rates, like 70, 80, 90 FPS. And that, that also applies to Cyberpunk. I, I thought Cyberpunk was the messy game that was giving you way less FPS than, than, than you should be getting. But no, this is a new, this is a new minimum. This is a new low for the PC gaming industry. This is stupid. Anyways, let's turn on FSR2 at uh, 70%, which is the equivalent of DLSS quality. And well, we're getting a little bit more FPS. As you can see, we're getting now 61 FPS on average. It's back to being playable with mouse and keyboard. But the fact that we have to turn on uh, FSR, which is very, very poorly optimized. You can see like jagged edges and it's also significantly blurrier. Uh, in, in the distance, maybe not in, in close uh, objects, but the things that are far away are very, very, very buggy. In high settings with a 4070, which I just, I just tried on the new Assassin's Creed Mirage. It was giving me 150 FPS at 1440p with high settings when I turned DLSS on. And also it had DLSS, not FSR. Actually, this is uh, something a lot of people don't know. You cannot change the FOV on this game. You're set to 65 and you cannot do anything about it unless you go to the to the menus and the settings of the game and you unofficially change the FOV in a deep, deep hidden file. And that's the only way you can change the FOV to a playable FOV that doesn't make you dizzy, you know? So another thing that just adds up to the whole disaster that this game is. It, it, it really is very embarrassing. But anyways, uh, let's switch it up again to 4K resolution, 3840 by 2160. I'm presuming this is going to be a complete mess because 1440p was barely playable, but we're going to start with the low settings preset as always without motion blur and without FSR too. And as you can see, we're getting 50 FPS on average. It's kind of embarrassing. It's like the game is capped between 40 FPS and 70 FPS, and it doesn't matter if you're playing 1080, 1440, 4K, high settings, low settings, it's going to be trapped between 40 FPS and 70 FPS, which kind of declares that it's clearly an optimization issue. You know, it's not because the game needs more power, it's capped because it's not optimized to, to take advantage of higher F frame rates or lower frame rates or different resolutions, it's like it's not optimized. So the, the differences between settings are, are small because the game is not taking advantage of, the, of those settings. You know, that's why there's such a small difference between them. You can go watch other videos of other people playing with other graphics cards, other CPUs, and the, the, the most you're gonna see is is the, the 4090 with the new Intel processors getting 100 FPS at 1080p, which is triple 
triple embarrassing. But anyways, let's uh, switch it up to high settings, still without motion blur and without FSR2, which we'll turn on later. But I want to test it out without it because this is kind of the most demanding experience you're going to have. 4K resolution, high settings. And uh, as I said earlier, I mean, we're getting a little under 40 FPS on average because I mean, 4K high settings is very demanding, but it's like, it's still kind of trapped inside of this very small gap between 30 something and 70. That's that's the that's the gap. And what's crazy about it is that the the CEO of Bethesda, like the owner of the company that's made the game, said that it's not because the game is poorly optimized. It's because you need to buy a better computer. And that is not true. I, I bet you a lot of money that in a couple of months they're going to release a, a fix, a an update that's going to optimize the game for all kinds of CPUs, all kinds of GPUs, and it's going to be a lot better, a lot smoother. You're going to be able to play with a 3060, with a 2060 probably even. So yeah, uh, this is not you not having a good CPU or GPU. This is the game being released without... With, without some very simple things to give people, because you can make the argument optimizing a game is difficult, but why not include, as I said earlier, an FOV slider? Why not include DLSS, which has been included via mod in two days after the game released, so it, it's probably not that difficult to include DLSS on a game. Why didn't they include it from the get-go? Because I promise you, they will include it in an update in a couple months. Anyways, uh, let's turn on upscaling. Let's turn on FSR2 at 70%, which as I said earlier, is the equivalent of DLSS quality. And well, as you can see, we're getting 10, 13, 14 more FPS, which is fine. I guess I was expecting a little bit more. I've seen I've seen way better in other games. There's games that give you like 40, 50, 60 percent more FPS. But I guess this is Starfield, the new low for the gaming industry. So we have to we have to be fine. OK, the only thing that I can say in this game's defense is that at 4K with uh, FSR 2 enabled, it actually looks pretty much identical to the game without FSR. Like there's no noticeable blurriness. There's no artifacts in the image. It gives you the extra FPS without losing that much quality. So yeah, if you're gonna be playing this game in 4K, don't be afraid of turning on FSR because it looks, as I said, pretty much identical. It looks pretty good. So yeah, for those interested on, on, on playing at this resolution, this is kind of the way to go. It's, it's gonna give you a still very low FPS count. This is still not playable with mouse and keyboard. It's giving me 50 FPS on average and it's, very very blurry and buggy and i i don't understand why because i turned off motion blur as you've seen earlier and it's very weird it's blurry and it, i don't know i don't like it but what if we turn it down to 50 the bare minimum meaning the lowest resolution that you then have to upscale possible 50 percent render resolution scale you're back into the not 60s you're back into the high 50s which is still very blurry and buggy and i mean you could you could i guess you could play it if you make the effort and you don't care about the image looking dramatically worse because at at 70 percent it looked fine but at 50 it looks soft and there's artifacts and in, in the long distance objects so it's it's kind of ugly and well not ugly i don't want to say this ugly it's it's still good looking but it's noticeably blurrier than native 4k and if you bought a 4K display, you're going to want to take advantage of the extra sharpness and the extra pixels. So this kind of makes it, you know, useless to have a 4K monitor if you turn on 50% FSR. But it's kind of the only way to play above, not even above 60 FPS. It's the only way to play in a relatively smooth way, but not even that. It's not even smooth. Ugh. So uh, 4070, amazing graphics card. Uh, Starfield, terrible, terrible port from Xbox, because let's face it, this is an Xbox game that they've ported to PC without much effort. And inevitably, in a couple months, they're going to release a port to fix all of these issues. So I would recommend for all of you trying to buy Starfield that you don't buy it. Wait a little bit for that patch, for that update, and then buy the game. If you wanted to buy the 4070, though, I can only say good things about this graphics card. You have a link in the description to Amazon if you want to buy it. As I said at the beginning of the video, hope you have an amazing day. Hope this terrible game, terrible performance didn't ruin your mood because it did ruin my mood.